Welcome to CATV Scope. I am Kathy. Today's topic is about how to choose an optical transmitter. Using fiber to transmit TV signals and data is a new technology developed in the late of 20th century, so that the world information industry has been rapid development. Optical transmitter is one of the most important parts in the FTTH network. It converts an input RF television signal into an optical signal. Usually we use 1310 and M or 1550 and M optical wavelength to transmit signal. 1310 and M optical transmitter often adopts directly modulated mode. 1310 and M optical wavelength has zero dispersion characteristic in the fiber and low cost for network but have no good optical amplified technology. It often used in short distance and simple network. It is mainly composed of DFB laser, power supply, laser bias circuit, pre-distortion circuit, AGC, ATC and so on. DFB laser is the core component, it have many brands, like JDSU, AI, Ortal, XT, Mitsubishi, Alcatel and so on. We usually use AWI laser. If the laser have no brand in it, normally it's a second hand. 1550 an M optical transmitter can use both a directly and external modulated mode. The differences of them are the external modular and double microwave source and pre-distortion circuit. To ensure when CNR more than 53 dB, the system can obtain the maximum CTB, CSO and SBS index. External modulator is the most expensive component in the device. We usually choose JDSU brand, the best brand of external modulator. If you want cheaper one, please tell me before order. When you buy the external optical transmitter, please choose the modular design one. It can greatly reduce maintenance costs. Please see the picture. It is the normally range that we used. When you buy an optical transmitter, to look at the index is very important. The first is CNR, means carrier noise ratio, and CSO, CTB. They all decide whether the signal is good or not. Usually CNR need more 50 dB, we can make it up to 53 dB. CTB and CSO need more than 60 dB, our device is more than 65 dB. A good optical transmitter can ensure the quality of the signal received in the end. Second is how to choose the output optical power for 1310 nm optical transmitter optical output power up to 26 mw and for 1550 nm it is up to 10 mw. Actually, it is based on your whole network. You need calculate the total optical power. If you don't know, you can contact us. We can provide technical support. And finally, is choosing the a good service factory. It can help you avoid a lot of unnecessary troubles. Thanks for your watching. If you like, please pay attention to us.